I have this thing that was like really small. So this is nice. from Dubai and this is from the Alpha Games. This is also from the Alpha, Alpha Games. These are like old ones. This is my brother and me. And this is also my brother and me, my mom. Yeah, a couple of competitions, climbing. That's a lot of trophies. Wow. Yeah, that's not from, I mean, not some of them from CrossFit, but most of them from climbing. I was a Hungarian champion for a couple of years. If you look at this collection of medals. This is from climbing? Uh, and CrossFit as well. I don't know, these are like the, from regionals. This is from Lowlands Throwdown. But yeah, also climbing. I wake up at around 7, I leave the house at around 8, so I have like one hour in the house. So I usually eat uh, oatmeal or like scrambled eggs. Before trek I don't usually don't eat, so I bring my breakfast with me or make it at the box. My mom is PE teacher and my dad as well and my mom also biology. They are pretty athletic, that's why we started like sports in the weekend. Like we went i don't know like hiking or biking or any athlete any like sports activities we did in the weekends or even after school it's because of them because they like they are pretty athletic and they like sports so i have two feathers one older and one younger one the older one is more like he does crossfit and the smaller one is more into art like he plays the guitar, he has a band, but sometimes I can convince him to come with me to CrossFit classes so I can like help him to get like feeder or something. <laughs> but everyone cares about Laura Horowa. Everyone cares about that. Oh, everyone cares about you. In my opinion, she like never knows what she wants, like in basically in life. But like the only thing that she, she always knows like it's it's basically CrossFit. If you just ask her about like basically anything, she never knows it. So, That's but okay. yeah, that is true. <laughs> Sometimes, not always. But he also got his first muscle up last week. It was a, like a training camp for him, like five yeah. weeks of training. And after we came home, he was like, "Okay, now I take a bit off." <laughs> so maybe next week you can come again. No, I will just. Oh yeah. Really, this is like a special time I have yeah. to, I have to be here. Laura is a very talented uh, girl. Uh, she likes a lot of sport. She likes training uh, every day and and any time. <laughs> I don't like the weightlifting. <laughs> and yeah, we use a lot of weight, so she doesn't like that. Yeah. It's scary for some people, I think, for mom. <laughs> I like a, a CrossFit competition. Yeah, she likes to come with us. And also my dad. I am a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's fan. I like it at home. Like, I, I wouldn't move to any other country, I think. I don't, I, I don't think of a country that I would rather move than staying here. We are going to track. Oops, sorry. I usually do it with my dad, so we, he used to be a track athlete and also he used to like train track athletes, so I asked him to help me with track. It's nice to like involve family as well, so it's like not just like you and like your coach or like also like your coach is usually like friends and stuff, but like it's nice to have like family with you. He also sometimes come to my training, so they like it, also my mom. They really like it. They, they like to get involved. I really, when I was younger, I really wanted to do all the sports. I, re I also wanted to compete in everything. I just like, I love to compete. So sometimes I think about it and I wish I could like, I don't know, like do gymnastics like as like my main sport or track or anything else. I really do love to compete. And I also love all the sports. So it's, it's easy for me and CrossFit is really good because like it's really all the sports combined so it's good.
They're going to the box. Yeah. First, I will have a rowing session, and then I will have a rest, and then um, I will have a lifting, like deadlift, heavy deadlift, and then I will have two workouts after that. One with hands and push-ups, hang power cleans and push jerks, and one with uh, lunges, chest to bars, and uh, burpees. So we started this uh, this box in uh, 2015. We have quite a few members already. Generally, CrossFit getting more and more popular in Hungary and in Budapest. We already have quite a few affiliate actually in Budapest. I think uh, six in the city and all together like nine in the country. Yeah, nine. Uh, nine to ten, something like this. Laura joined the box. One and a half. Like 2016. 2016, the beginning. She is, we can say, an idol of the of the people. Uh, all our members, of course, look up to Laura. That's how and what motivates all the all the customers, everybody. I can say not just inside, also outside of the of the box, and in all Hungary that we have such a, a great athlete. Joss is just rowing, so you, you, you can join us. I need the camera work, Joss, and you can work out with Laura. I uh, will see. <laughs> This session was really fun. In the beginning it was okay, not so hard, but towards the end, like third and second round, it got hard, so on the legs. But it was fun. It was good to do it with Bali. Yeah, I really, I really liked the rest time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most fun part of yeah. the workout. It's always fun to work out with Laura. Just, uh, she's so energetic all the time. So, try to catch her, but it's, Impossible for uh, me. <laughs> no. He's good to work out balance. He is good on the rower, so he pushes me all the time, so it's good. Sometimes we do partner workouts, like... Yeah, yeah. like in a different style. In a, instead of you go, I go, we do something like you go, you go, I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we do it often, like every week or every second week, we have something fun. She's always where the food is, so... <laughs> now I'm her favorite. <laughs> but if you would eat him... Then she would be there. I try to eat the same quantities like you, like what I think is okay, but I don't really measure. I don't do macros. I don't. I tried all kinds of like dieting. Like I tried the zone. I tried paleo, paleo, and uh, yeah, I didn't try macro. I just like I don't like to count. I hate math, so <laughs> it's not for me. But I, I should probably eventually start something more serious. Yeah, we'll see. But right now, I'm just. Try to eat healthy. Uh, I had problems with protein shakes because I don't really like to drink it, but with Progenix it's really easy to drink it because it really tastes good. Bunny. Making Pony famous. Making Pony famous. <laughs> uh, that's today's last class which is going on right now. Just about to start uh, her third session today. It's a usual Saturday workout.
Recently I got a new coach, it's, her name is Michelle Atandra, she is from uh, Canada and yeah, she is my coach now. So I follow her programming, it's called the Decacom and I follow that. I, I love it, I really do and also really like Michelle, she is super nice and yeah. So Laura we get actually is in love with Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good, I love it. I don't have a favorite workout. I only know Karen, DT and Murph I guess. <laughs> because those are easy. <laughs> Evil easy. I mean, like to, rem to remember. <laughs> for the, for yeah. you, Laura, might be easy. <laughs> Other pe usual people would die in a murph. <laughs> I have one rest day a week on Sunday, and also like an active recovery day on Thursday, where I don't train. I only train once, and I usually swim or like do a longer, like, mat con or like like row a little bit or go run like a easy jog so I have like one full rest day which is Sunday Just pick it up, this big one. It's How so heavy. Heavy. super heavy, right? Yeah. It's 15 kgs. It's, Jesus it's like a woman's bar. <laughs> and so Jordi like, was carrying all the way. Yeah, Jordi was there. <laughs> but did they yeah, allow yeah. you? Did you pack it to, in the big luggage? No, I, I took it as a carry-on. I, yeah. I asked at the like police station at the airport that if I have to like check it in or can I bring it with me and they said it's okay. I mean I even showed them that it's from Dubai fitness championship so they said it's okay. If you won an event win an, won an event in Dubai you got like this. Which so event? I, did you I win? won the 80 80 kettlebell snatches and every time you break you have to do eight burpee bow jump overs and I won that one. Ugh. <laughs> mm, yeah that's good. Alright are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Hot. Yet. Mountain. Chicken. Uh, park. Orange. Snowboarding. Burger. I like red hot chili peppers. No. <laughs> Uh, hard Lindsay one hard working uh, generous and uh, fun <laughs> doing 
four by four deadlifts with increasing weight. So right now I'm at 40 kgs. So we'll see how heavy I go. Yeah, my mom said you, you were supposed to work, right? Yes, I was supposed to work, but instead of working, I, I was at the farm where, where there were sheep and like all kinds of like farm animals. And we had to like feed them every morning. And one of the guys asked me if I could drive a car. I was like, oh sure, I have a license. But I, at the time I didn't have a license. But I said yes, because it was only inside the farm. So it wasn't like on the street and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I have a license. And they, and even in, like in England, you drive on the other side of the road. So it was even harder <laughs> for me to drive. But I, I mean, I drove uh, like a, it was a van actually that I drove with all the food inside of it and I feed the animals. But yeah, that's the story. I was driving around like a crazy person. I really like to like drive fast, but this car is not so like strong. So I can't really drive fast with this one, but I, as fast as this one could go, I go. Yeah, I like the speed. I also really like driving. Um, I don't know why. Now we are breaking a huge rule here. <laughs> don't, don't put that on video, please. <laughs> At the, at the B-Bros where Laura is training and I'm the head coach. I'm doing the programming and I do many classes and I'm one of the co-owners with these uh, two gyms. We spend a lot of time together. Maybe even too much. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we started to hang out uh, one and a half year ago when she started to train at our gym with her brother. So we started to meet and meet quite more often. Oh, he really supports me, like in everything, really. Like what I do, he supports. He helps me with weightlifting and gymnastics as well. And also he, he really, he's happy for me, I think, when I like do good or, I don't know. Yeah, we, we try to not create a uh, coach-athlete relationship. Yeah, but it yeah. is actually. So it's like... <laughs> it's, it's kind of like, she always asks for my help, for my opinion, and I'm always happy, happy to help her. But uh, yeah, the most, the most important thing for us is our relationship just outside of the gym, I guess. But uh, you cannot separate the two of them. Yeah. yeah. You really work out, wake up, eat, work out, sleep, eat, yeah. and repeat. Between that, she checks Instagram. No. Yeah. Like always. Yeah, we no, do we... some fun stuff as well. Like in the winter, we go ice skating like yeah. once a month we or like, so. We like hiking and <laughs> yeah. going to the cinema. Uh, we don't like that. Yeah. We watch movies at home. Yeah. We are boring. She she never likes movies. Yeah, because like you have to pay, and then you also have to like sit next to people you don't know, and then yeah, but, but she you like also cartoons. eat like. So that's also something. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't. Watch but cartoons he watch together. cartoons with me. <laughs> Laura, maybe. Uh, how do you say Winnie the Pooh? This no! One, the bear? Uh, she wants to be, I'm mean, uh, the donkey from Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> but no, she, she, just wants to be, she just wants to be mean. Yeah, yeah but I'm donkey from Shrek. And you are Shrek, probably. No, I'm somebody really clever. Yeah, Shrek is clever. If I see her training, you know, she writes up the, the training that day. And uh, we have a little board and uh, she writes everything down that day and it's like a week of mine and <laughs> she never stops and uh, she's just uh, the greatest competitor like when it's competition it doesn't matter what what was wrong before that or what's what's wrong there with her uh, 
body or is it a bad workout for her or is just uh, the competition is just uh, the level of the other athletes is really high doesn't matter she will step up to this and she will compete I don't have really a specific goal like for like the open is approaching in like four weeks so first open then we go to the games hopefully and then we'll see what happens at, I mean we go to regional sorry and then we'll see what happens but the goal is of course like to make it to the CrossFit Games but it can be this year next year or the year after but that's the main goal like be patient because everything will come to you eventually I don't rush everything as you usually do, just like let it let it happen.